What spark plug gap do you recommend for stage two plus E40? One that works. Um, I do very little spark Honestly, plug tuning. Stocks, stock um, plugs. Yeah, I, I should work fine. Yeah, I, I again, yeah, I do very little spark plug tuning. It's kind of one of those things. Some cars are fussier than others. My car, our car here, generally doesn't care. G generally, uh, I mean, general tuning advice would be uh, if if you're experiencing misfires and you're positive it's not quite, you know, your your uh, your coils or anything else. Um, you know, start shrinking the, the gap, maybe by 0 0.05 or something, um, and, and, and yeah, test I think, that. I remember, I think 0 0.024 to 0 0.028 is probably where most land, but yeah, yeah it's, and 0 0.028 is, yeah. you know, but the, I think the factory spec works fine. And, yep. um, again, there's a lot of people messing with plug gaps and they're, they're trying to bandaid for some. I mean, I think I had, I think I still have the cheap copper tri-electrode, they don't even for the car and right now that are working totally fine and others yeah. have issues so it's yeah. plug plug gapping was a big thing like in the 60s and 70s when you know you, you literally had like fuel like pouring like a like a stream into your combustion chamber so uh, these days everything you know the, the atomization of fuel the fsi injection um yeah i mean combustion is much easier yeah, some guys swear by it so by all means, play with it. We don't have a definitive guide because we've never seen the, the need to just whoever is swearing to, by to give a definitive answer. On make that. sure that they're actually addressing <laughs> yep. a real problem.